Hey everybody, Devin here with Backcountry Exposure. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, also welcome. I've got several pieces of gear that I wanted to share with you guys as kind of like what is upcoming on the channel, what am I testing? But I've got a bunch of gear here in front of me. Some stuff is completely brand new, even unreleased stuff, or it's new to the market, or in some cases, just had a lot of requests for me to check it out here on the channel. So I thought I'd go through and share what these are with you guys and just give you a quick idea of what's coming up on the channel with some of this gear that I've got here to test. A big one that I've had in my hands here for several weeks now is the XMID 1 Pro from Durston Gear. Now I've got the XMID 2 and I've shared a video and my experience many times with that tent here on the channel, but I'm excited to be checking out the one person version and to even compare it against the two person and to get a better idea of which one really is the best choice. But XMID Pro, one is something that I'm gonna be using and testing here uh, very soon on the channel. Now, the next thing that we've got here is a product from Flextail. This is actually something that I'm very excited about. It's called the Tiny Repel. Now, you're probably familiar with the Thermacell products that are a bug repellent uh, type of product. And what the Tiny Repel is, is a multi-use product. This is a lantern for one. So you've got a lantern here for you to hang and provide light around camp. But then you've also got the ability to put those repel pads and slide them into the tiny repel thing here. And then it will heat up those pads and it will create a barrier zone of protecting you from bugs, primarily mosquitoes being the biggest issue. But these are actually really cool tools. Now I've been using a thermocell for quite some time now, and it does a very decent job, but at higher elevations, it doesn't work so well because it runs on a gas canister. So as opposed to this running off of a gas canister, it runs off of a battery and then it's able to heat up those pads and create that repellent. So I'm really excited about this. It's a multi-use kind of device. It is a luxury device. It's not something I have to use at all times, uh, only when I'm out camping and backpacking and I've got really bad bugs to deal with. And additionally, from Nightcore, I've got a similar uh, type of bug repellent device. This is the EMR06, and I've got a similar larger device from Nightcore that does the same thing, but this one you can actually attach to your backpack strap, and as you're walking and uh, such out in the woods, you've got some personal bug zone repellent going on that way. So that's from Nightcore. But then I've also got a couple other cool things that I've already been able to use and enjoy from Nightcore. One is this pump. Now, this is a bit large for taking on a backpacking trip. This is the AP-10. I'll use this primarily for my camping trips, but it's just the similar idea is like the Flextail uh, Tiny Pump, Tiny Pump X, where you've got a lantern on the top, and then you've got multiple different uh, attachments for blowing up uh, anything that really needs to be inflated. This is a really nice option for that. On my Marshall Islands trip, I took this uh, Carbo 20,000 uh, 20, milliamp battery bank, uh, also from Nightcore. And in the case where I need a bit more juice to charge larger camera batteries, I've upgraded my camera recently, so I've now got a full frame camera. It's using larger batteries and microphones and all sorts of different stuff. I want the ability to charge a bit more if I'm going out for a longer period of time. Now something different that I've not talked about too often is a product from Nick Wax. This is tent and gear solar proof as well as a cleaner. Now, why is this important for me to have? I've got coming into my possession a older style tent that has probably been sitting in storage for a long period of time. And what this Nick Wax solar proof 
and cleaner is going to be able to do is I can take that tent and basically refresh the nylon on it, bring back the DWR, bring back the water repellency and just make it have that protection from being an older product. It's something that's still absolutely viable for using and instead of saying, well, the tent has been in storage for a long time, it's not uh, waterproof anymore, it's not going to uh, handle being in the sun. No, this product will refresh those materials and give you the ability to bring it back to life and prolong the life of your tent. So that's a really cool uh, product from Nick Wax that I'm excited to use here very soon. A couple apparel items, something I purchased recently is a new pair of shorts. These are the Skyline shorts from Outdoor Vitals. On my Marshall Islands trip with Sawyer, I actually snorkeled in these. It was my first time swimming in the ocean, so that was <laughs> interesting, but already very pleased and happy with these and going on a trip soon that I'll probably wear these as my primary hiking short for that. And then a really interesting new water purifier on the market. And the reason that this is interesting is because it is a purifier. It is not just a filter, uh, in which case using the Sawyer squeeze would be the best option. But if you find yourself in a situation where you need to purify your water, remove viruses, remove more things than just bacteria and protozoa, this Wayfarer uh, from Lifesaver water purifier is something that is a nice option. So less likely to find a good practical use for this in my everyday uh, backpacking needs, but we're gonna give it a shot and see how it goes. All right, next really awesome and exciting big items that uh, we've got here to start testing is I went and yesterday picked up the Helix sleeping pad from REI. This has been something that has been on my radar for a long time, been really interested in, something that gets really high uh, ratings and just rave reviews. So we're gonna be checking out the Helix from REI for my trips coming up, but an unreleased, super exciting product that I cannot wait to get out and start using is this brand new Tensor all season from Nemo. Comes in at about 14 ounces, but the weight and the information I'm sharing here can absolutely change because uh, it's still in development. But this is a sample that I've been able to get my hands on to start testing and wanna thank Nemo for uh, that opportunity. But this is the most up-to-date tensor model that is coming out here uh, in the near future. So that is the list of gear that I've got coming up here over the next little bit uh, that you'll see on videos here on the channel as I'm testing and you see videos and stuff as I'm out on some trips. But leave any questions that you guys have down in the comment section. Thanks for watching today. Hope you have an awesome day. See you later.